so in last lecture we have seen about the uh, basics of plc and all right we have seen how to add hardware and uh, how to write logic how to write uh, ladder logic okay how to take tags uh, blocks and all in this lecture i am going to show you all about hmi okay so we will cover all the things related to hmi so don't miss this video please watch full video for better understanding after watching you will be very much knowledgeable in ti portal okay let's start so this is basically ti portal um, we have covered uh, all in last part 1 so if you have missed part 1 then first go for part 1 okay after watching part 1 then you should go for part 2 okay so this tab is h for hmi okay we have added ktp 700 basic pn profinet hmi okay so if i click on this button okay it will expand and now you can uh, see the functions related to the hmi so all functions under this tab is about to hmi so very first please device configuration if i double click on device configuration you can see the hmi model number and related settings it will redirect to the devices and network all right in devices configuration we will have this uh, device view i will just you can minimize this by clicking here okay if i right click here and just click on properties okay Just click on this HMI. You will have the properties for this, right? So in this, you have catalog information. This is seven inch TFT display. Okay, and this is model number of HMI. In Profinet interface, you can see the uh, Ethernet address for HMI. Okay, here we have one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot two. you can just modify this address by just click entering your uh, required ip address okay now th the hmi ip address is 0.5 okay so in device configuration you can change the ethernet addresses and all uh, in online and diagnostic if you are online to the hardware and if there is any error or uh, like that then you can see the uh, error and all in this diagnostic window so let's see what's in a run time setting just click on run time setting you need to double click yes so in run time settings you can see these uh, tabs here general services screens keyboard alarm okay so now in screens we have not configured any screen right now there is no screen in screen tab so that's why uh, there is no start screen showing here right so once we configured screen here we can assign the start screen from this drop down list okay if you have all screens you will have the uh, screens here in drop down list so you can select the your start screen main screen after power on hmi this screen will be on and this screen will be display okay so this is template so for template uh, we will cover the template in uh, up, uh, next next part of this video okay so this is just uh, about the theme here 
you can enter the password for HMI so it will ask for upload during upload or download right and you can uh, reset the password from here okay second services so this is uh, for smart server so uh, we will take another lecture on this smart server okay screens okay these are the uh, additional settings uh, where you can configure your text list uh, you can select your bit for text list graphics list and all okay this is for keyboard so you no need to do anything here okay just uh, i will just i am just showing you what is the functions here now user administration so this is actually basically for uh, user administration so in this if i cl click this okay means now this is enable enable limit for logon attempt means this is enable and we have a here value of 3 it means if i put uh, wrong password for 3 times okay so uh, it will not log in again right so this is log on attempt limit okay then uh, after configuration of your user administration you need to put username and password right but if you click this then you no need to put username there okay you can just log in with password only no need to give the username this is we can assign uh, multiple levels uh, in groups okay uh, i have already taken the video on this user administration okay the link is above you can see okay and you can follow that video password aging if you click this password aging and uh, now this is 90 days limit means after 90 days you have to change password okay and uh, the it will ask change before the seven days okay so before seven days uh, prior to ex expire your password it will ask you to change the password so this is uh, aging password aging okay then you can assign the password complexity if you want special characters uh, and all in your password then you just need to click this button if you want number also then you you have to click this must include number also and you can assign the minimum password length from here okay if i put six here it means you have to assign six minimum six number of passwords uh, sorry six number of words uh, six number of letter in password okay so all this is uh, related to user administration so let's go ahead for language and font these things we can set in hmi settings language and fonts okay now we have our default english us language and demo font okay okay uh, just ignore this tag setting we will go ahead with the screen okay so now this is screens this is screens where we can add the multiple screens here okay if i click here add new screen okay one screen is added right the name of screen automatically it will take screen underscore one name if i again click on add new screen then it will take another one it will add another one screen name as screen underscore two in this way it will add and it will give numbers one two three four like that okay so if we want to rename this i will just click right click on this just click on rename okay and or you can just click once and one more time it will go to rename so we will give the name main screen 
perfect now this is main screen here you can see the green small triangle right this green small triangle what shows it shows this is the starting screen okay now if i go in runtime setting and general here you can see the main screen right it means this this triangle shows it is main screen okay start screen if i want change this start screen just click on screen which we want to set as a start screen right click on that and just click here define as a start screen now the uh, triangle shifted to the this screen because i made this screen as a start screen okay here you can see the screen is changed to the screen too okay we will again set this as a start screen okay so this is start screen uh, we have given the name main screen this is another screen right if i on copy you can copy paste this screen also if i click on copy just click paste one more screen will be added need add okay all right now it's screen 1 and screen 2 okay now we have total three screens perfect so in main screen now we will see the overview of this this window okay so here you can see the toolbox this side toolbox elements basic objects controls graphics okay if this window is hidden if i click this the window is hidden now right so in here you can see toolbox animations layout instructions task and all right if this is hidden you just need to click on this button this is white arrow if i click it will expand yeah so here you can minimize this by clicking this arrow if i click this it will minimize this will minimize right you can expand as well we can we will expand all the tabs right so first we will see the basic objects so in basic objects we can see this is line this is ellipse this is circle this is square or rectangle right and this is text okay this is if you hold the cursor here it will show you the name of this object this is graphics view right if i hold this mouse over here it will show the text text field right if i hold the mouse here it will show i have field right so first we will uh, uh, we will change this color of the screen go to properties right the name of screen here this is background color if i click here if i change the color the background color will be changed if i click again here we will change the color okay in this way you can change the background color let's check this one okay or oh, let's take a white one plain white then okay so we change the color to the white so let's take one text here we'll give the name so just click on text double click it's loading you can see the text here appear here right i just drag it okay so if i double click on this 
it's editable now so we'll write just welcome to okay we'll just write welcome screen right now i have this welcome screen text we'll uh, change the font from here okay 19 32 you can make it bold it's already bold so okay you can just give the underline you can just modify the settings from here yeah it's italics from here you can you can change the size right if I click here you can change the color of, of text this is shortcut or you can just right click here click on properties here you have from here you can also change the size and font and all here you can change the color you can change the color of text right so this is fill pattern now it's transparent if i make it solid so background uh, this is background color we can apply let's take yellow one okay you can see here the background color is appeared here so in this way you can add text you can give you can give the customized color you can give the font right you can give the border here right you can assign the border color here if i want something else yes layout okay you can set the positions and all here so let's go ahead text format here you can change the font and all right you can change it to the normal bold italic so in this way you can change from properties or these are the all shortcuts here flashing you can flash this text also by clicking standard enable okay we'll just keep as a normal we'll just select as a disable here okay in this way you can add text you can multi um, apply color and all okay this is very basic things so let's go for uh, if you want take circle in, uh, same way you have to just double click this circle uh, square or rectangle okay you can take circle right we will see see this in uh, next part of the video what is the function of this right So if I click on this, uh, we are given the screen name here. So I want this screen, uh, this text at the center of the screen. So I will just click here, just go to there. This is the meaning of center, vertical center, right? So if I click here, it will be vertically center. If I click this one, this is horizontal center, right? This is vertical center means now it's totally over vertical and horizontal center right let it be here yeah now let's take one button here so this is the button if i click here you can see the name button right if i drag and drop here We can give the name to the button. Uh, let's take button one. Right? If you want, 
if you want to change the size of this button just click here you can just increase this way okay this way and you want two lines then just click control enter sorry shift enter okay button one start like this you can give the name to the button okay so in uh, you can see in other hmi in other make hmi we have uh, the, uh, momentary button maintain button go to screen button right we have all these uh, different buttons right but in this simmons hmi we have only one this button right we can assign this as a momentary maintain invert toggle go to screen we can assign all the functions to only this button right so we'll see how to assign and all so first we can change the same we can change the font from here same as text you can assign bold okay you can do underline here right you can make it center here this is for center if i click here and i put align to left you can see the text align to the left we will keep as the center right so here you can change the text color and this is background pattern you can change the background pattern from here okay actually this is uh, this is some effect is there we will check in properties okay so if i click here on button so it, these are the all properties related to the button if i click here it will show the properties of this io field if i click here it will show the properties of rectangle right so i click on button right so this is vertically gradient so that's why we are not able to change the color if i make it solid just make it solid and you can change the color of the button let's take this one no it's not looking good so we'll take it this one yeah you can change change the border here from this you can change you can increase the border right so we will keep as a two you can set the border style here and double line line 3d okay whatever as per your design you can change the text color if you want black you can take black one so it's not looking good so we'll keep as white yeah so this is just uh, related to the appearance yeah let's see what is in fill pattern yeah in fill pattern you can just uh, change the background settings if i make it transparent it will be transparent if i click on solid yeah you can take as a gradient vertical gradient horizontal gradient right in design focus i don't know what is this focus yeah just let it be layout from here you can change the uh, position x axis y axis if i click here suppose 50 it will move to somewhere right One fifty. If I click here, one eighty. So it will be one fifty by eighty size, right? So text format. You can change the font and all from here. Same like text. Okay. This is security app. So we can assign the security from here. I have a separate video on this. You can see above in this card. Yeah. So. Suppose this this uh, I want to configure this button as momentary button. So just go to event, right? So on this event, click click means if I click on this button, so the click we can add functions to the click. If uh, if you want to function for press, 
if you need to just add function in this phrase so suppose for phrase if i press the button i want to activate one tag i want to activate one uh, button for plc so just click here you can see the all functions from this list okay. so we'll see the one by one function of all these functions there are multiple functions only you can assign all these functions to the only one button right so this is very good facility from siemens so in other make hmi we have all different different buttons for different functions but in the siemens we have only one button for different functions yeah so just click here and uh, we'll say tag you can see here set bit just click on set bit yeah so if after i clicking on set bit you can you have one more tab here that is tag so you need to just assign the tag here yeah if i click here now i will show you how to connect to the tags with plc right so i click here it's loading yeah now you can see the plc here plc tags here right so if i click here if i click here input tags okay so i will just increase this just go to default actable so in last video we have taken a start pb stop pb tag right so m2.0 is a start pb so i want to ask uh, after pressing this button after pressing this button i want to toggle this tag start pb toggle means i want to momentary on this tag so i will just select this start pb okay now if i press this this bit will be set okay and now uh, we will give the function to the release i will just copy this start pb tag and on function on release we will add the function that is reset bit we will give the same address that is start pb it means on set on press this bit will be set and on release whenever i will really uh, release the button then this bit will be reset it means we will have the pulse for this bit right so this is momentary button right we will add one more button I will just copy this yes suppose let just give the name momentary shift enter but give the name for this that is 
इंटेन और टॉगल टॉगल बटन ओके राइट क्लिक गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज एक्सपांड दी प्रॉपर्टीज विंडो now in event you can see as we have copied this uh, button so the same uh, functions are there we will just delete this release one right click on this click on delete or you can just in click on this delete okay so uh, release function is deleted so on press we want toggle switch so just change the function that is inward bit inward bit select inward bit and give the address start v okay means whenever i will press this button so it will inward the uh, its condition if it is zero it will inward to the one if it is one it will be uh, zero so let's give the animation to this button okay so whenever any tag is on this button uh, should be a different color okay so just go to animation click on display here you can see add new animation click on add new animation first we will see appearance click on appearance okay here appearance will be added right so on appearance so select the tag which you want to uh, on uh, that tag you can change the color of this button so let's take same tag here that is start pb just click here 0 and 1 yeah so for zero condition that means the, if this tag is zero then background color will be this gray color right and if this tag is one Uh, let's change the color for one let's take as a green okay means whenever this tag will be on the it will uh, this button will be in green color okay so for second one you can you can just copy this animation first one if you want apply this uh, animation to the any other object just copy go to this toggle button click here paste right so in this way we can copy the animation now you can see the start pb if it is zero in gray uh, background color if it is one it's a green color if you want if you want to flash the you can just select here yes so now it will be flashing Yes, save. Now, let's take a go screen go to button. Right, just select this, copy, paste. Just give the name, next screen, or screen one. Yeah, just click. go to event we will delete previous functions just click on release delete phrase delete i don't want animation to this so i will delete the animation to right click on and press delete or you can just hit delete button yeah so in event now on press or on click okay whatever you want if you want on click you can give on click just select here here activate screen okay now here you can see activate previous screen activate screen activate screen by number so activate previous screen means if i press this button it will go in previous screen okay in last screen activate screen you can assign particular screen here okay just give the screen name here or 
if I click here you can see all screen will be appear here okay. so for this I want screen one right so let's take one more button this is screen two screen two activate screen just click here if I just enter here to it will be appear here yeah so on this click it will go to in second screen on this click it will go in screen one yeah so in it means now these are the go to buttons go to screen buttons right yeah we'll just rearrange this function buttons okay Okay, let's take one more button here. Uh, I will just give the name. Uh, I will keep this aside. I will give the name to this button as a start motor PB. Okay, just copy paste stop motor. So here, let's take stop PB tag. PLC tag, sorry. Go to PLC tag. Default tag table. This is stop PV. So just select stop. Copy this. Paste here. Also in animation. I need to change the tag. Yeah. And one more will show the motor condition yeah on this tab we will add animation here appearance so let's let's show the motor status go to plc tags this is motor contactor q0.0 okay motor contactor select motor contactor indicator yeah so for zero it will be gray color for one it will be in red color sorry in green color perfect i will just delete this one so on screen uh, let's take one more button here give the name main screen Will give the address of main screen. Yeah. Now, if I select these three three buttons, I want. You can see here, align select objects horizontally, right? So, if I click this button. Align select objects horizontally, it will be aligned horizontally. If you want align at one side, you can just suppose I want these two to be aligned on right side. So I will select this one and first I will select this one, click on shift and click on the screen too. Just click here, align to the right. So it will move to the right side right now i want equal distance in all these so i will just select these three you can see here 
this is evenly distribute the selected objects horizontally so you select this so it will be evenly distributed yeah. so you want same width and all so just select all these and select this anyone so if i press on this same width and height all objects will become a same width and height but the master will be this object so i want to change the master i want all these three objects same as per this object so i will just select all these and then i will just click on this so this will be now master just click on this same width and height so all will be as in same width and height so just select this it will take about yeah. Now we have one more parameter in our PLC program that is time. right they set time okay so we will take this tag on screen hmi screen so just go to hmi screens now here on this right side you can see here this is io field so just take this io field right just give the name take one text give the name set time just double click on this good properties on general you can select the tag here just click on this Okay, set value for timer 1 select this timer okay so here you can see the type it is input or output it means it will take numeric entry if you want just display the numeric inputs uh, display any numeric value then uh, you can take it as a output okay so this uh, we will keep it as a input output and actual time will show below that is running time just give the name actual time now I want all this to be align okay here we will take it as a output and address will be different just go to tags program blocks system block timer and this is ET okay we have timer 1 I will just show you in program this is timer 1 name timer 1 and this is ET ET means actual time okay so we have taken this tag that is in timer 1 this ET address So this is in timer it is et address and we have taken it as a type as output means it is just numeric display okay, let's save now we will simulate the program first let's simulate this one
now let's simulate the hmi program here select click on hmi then start simulation so for simulation you have to first install the simulation software okay if you don't know how to install simulation software and how to simulate the program how to simulate the plc and hmi you can go through my previous video in which i have shown how to simulate the plc and hmi one here is there let's check Okay, let's assign one password here. Okay, I think we have click on complex passwords. That's why it's asking. So here, go to user administration. Hmm. Here we have click on special characters and. numbers so i'll just remove this one Yes. Now we have simulated HMI PLC and HMI program. So let's check here. I will just rearrange window. So for this button, we have given this tag. 
m2.0 start pb so if i click this we have given the moment tree right so in a set time it's showing 10000 so actually this time is in millisecond okay so we will convert it in second after all after some time so now here you can see if it is 10000 it means here is 10 second so if i modify this let's take as a 20000 so it will be as a 20 second right so this is in millisecond it means 1000 is equal to 1 second so this is now 20000 it means 20 second so set time is now 20 second just go above yeah now if i click this button okay after click on this button this contactor will be on through this start pv just if i press this it started contactor started and here you can see the actual time is increasing and this shows this green circle shows this green circle shows that motor is on because we have given the output address to this indicator this we have given the q0.0 address to this indicator yeah so after time come 20 second motor is now off and the green indicator is also off right let's increase the time suppose take it as a 60 second yeah now let's click on this so this button is we have given the same address the m2.0 to this button but this is toggle button so if i once click this it will be on continue on so yeah, i click this so here you can see this button is continue on and we have given the flashing function to this button that's why it's flashing so if i click it will be off right it's now off in condition off actual time you can see 14 second 15 second 16 17 19 right if i click on this stop motor pb we have given the stop pb address to this so just if i click on this motor will be stop you can see if i click here you can see here stop stop pb is on and if i release this button the stop pb is off so second function that is screen one screen two if i click on this screen one it will to redirect to screen two mm, but on screen two we have not taken any button so we cannot mm, go to previous screen so let's just close this one simulation now we'll we'll add the time in second All right we'll add buttons on next screen so just copy these buttons control c control v control v copy this welcome screen give the name screen one or oh, center to the screen copy paste screen two control s yeah. so in tag hmi tag we have the timer set value tag right that is this is timer set value so just right click on this tag go to properties here you can see the linear scaling option so just click here linear scaling so for plc if for plc side if we have 0 to 100 and 0 to 1000 so we want on hmi 0 to 1 second right so 4000 we have 1 second so we are taking as a 0 to 1000 
we are doing scaling that is 0 to 1000 to 0 to 1 it means if I put one value in HMI for this tag in PLC the value will be 1000 perfect so same scaling we have to done on actual value 0 to 1000 and 0 to 1 just save go online again let's simulate the HMI again yeah here you can see set value is 60 and in PLC the set value is 1 minute if I change this to 10 in PLC the value is 10 second if I go to on screen 1 this is screen 1 if I click on screen 2 it's going screen 2 if I click on main screen it will redirect to main screen now let's start once again just put it here 60 it means 60 second start motor is started here actual seconds actual time is increasing if I click on stop motor motor will be off actual time will be zero okay let's see some more functions Now let's see this text and graphics list. Okay, let's take one button here. Okay. Now in this text and graphics list just go to just click here test clicks one okay value range just take it as a bit okay so for zero for zero value for one value so for zero value suppose we want text as a motor motor is on sorry motor is off and for one let's take it as a motor is on okay so here we have added one text list in this text list for bit we have the value uh, if the bit is zero means if bit is off the text will be motor is off and if bit is one the text will be motor is on okay just go to main screen now so this button we'll just delete this one i will just rearrange this yeah so we'll assign the text list to this button so just right click go to properties so here in general tab you will have the text and text list so for text it will show the just this uh, text right and if you, I click on this text list just click here we have configured one text list so that's why only one showing here so I am just selecting this one okay okay so for this text list we have to assign the tag so we will assign the tag is motor on output that is motor conductor 
this is our output bit okay so whenever this uh, tag will be zero it will it will show motor is off whenever that this tag will be one it will show motor is on okay let's assign animation for zero gray for one let's take it as a green yeah so here you can see if i click suppose let uh, just take one rectangle here okay so in animation you will have one more animation here that is visibility so if i just add this visibility animation motor contactor suppose 0 to 0 yeah so what is this visibility animation so if this tag is 0 I have given the range 0 to 0 means if this tag is 0 this will be visible right and if this is out of range that is if this tag is 1 this will be invisible so let's check this animation too okay start simulation So if I click on start motor PV, here you can see the motor is on text, right? So once it is off, it will it will be motor is off. Yeah, and this is also now this is visible because the tag is uh, in zero condition. If I just started uh, the uh, this output, this will be invisible because we have given the visibility animation to this right stop yeah so this is uh, just text list so let's see the graphics list okay here you can see this is text list and this is graphic list so in graphics list just add one select here bit add new for zero for one so for zero we will add one graphic here let's select the graphic Mm, first we need to select graphics from this yeah this side you can see the graphics this side so for button graphics uh, let's take one graphic here
okay here you can see the graphics if i click on this motor you just need to expand this window okay this is the list of motor right so suppose for zero we will take a red one drag and drop here and for one we will take green right just save over so we have created one graphic list here in which for zero value we have given red graphics and for one we have given green graphics so go to main screen okay so in, in let's take sorry so suppose i will just copy this right click properties so here i will not assign any text here select as a graphic and in graphics select as a graphic list so in from graphic list we have created just select graphic list now you can see here we will just rearrange so it will be look better <coughs> okay so in appearance we'll just select as a transparent it will look good uh, border we will give to zero so now it is looking good yeah and for, for this graphic list we have already assigned the tag motor contactor right So just save and let's start the simulation again perfect now this is showing in red color if i start motor it will be a green yes now it's showing green color and here you can see motor is on after 10 second it will be zero motor will be off and it will be again in zero condition okay this is what graphic list so in so for hmi alarms i have separate video on hmi alarms you can just uh, go through that video you will have the link in description for recipe i also separate video on recipe also for user man administration i have already uh, uploaded a video on user administration okay so today we have seen text and graphic list now what we can see so just go to second screen okay suppose uh, you want to show the bar so here you can see the bar just take it yeah so in this way you can take graph bar graph you can change the maximum scale minimum scale and, and all okay if i take here 10 suppose and let's give the tag timer actual time right so this is actual time of timer yeah 
I will just copy this. Let's take it on main screen. So it will be a better for understanding. This actual time. This actual time will be sh uh, show in this graph. Let's just minimize the border. Where is border? Border? Yeah, border type. There. Let's minimize this width. Two is looking okay. Great. Yeah. So we have set time zero to ten, and actual time will vary from zero to ten. Just see. Let's see. Okay, now it is zero, right? So if I start motor, this will be increased to till ten. We have set point ten. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and again zero. Yeah. So this is use of bar uh, bar graph. Then you can, if you want, take any image. Let's suppose go to screen one. I'll just delete this one. This is image. I will just drag and drop here. Double click. Click here. I will go to download. Yes, suppose just take this industrial automation. You can expand this. Okay, in this way you can take an image. We have seen this I/O field. We have seen this button. This is same uh, like I/O field, but uh, it just uh, like drop down list. Okay. What is this? This is calendar view. Yeah. This is another type of button. Toggle switch. It's like toggle switch. You can just assign the tag here. Suppose start PB. You can just select format. Switch. Switch with graphics. Switch with text. You can change the name on off or whatever up down whatever you want okay it is change so this is basically like toggle switch yeah this is uh, about trend we will have separate video on trends historical trends real time trend Okay, uh, this is uh, regarding the recipe. We have already seen the recipes. Okay, anything remaining? So in graphic, you will have multiple graphics. You can see here. You can select the graphic from this list. Automation, automation, SVG, SVG, industries. Or chemical, material handling, conveyance and all. <coughs> okay okay that's it thank you friends thank you for watching this tutorial so please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos regarding programming and automation. Thank you.